If you are a medical student or graduate, watch this video to learn new USMLE updates for 2021 and beyond. We will be discussing the new changes for the Step 3 eligibility requirements, more announcements about the Step 2 CS, more updates on the USMLE exam fees, new NBME practice exams for Step 1, and changes to the number of USMLE exam attempts that are allowed. If you find this video to be helpful, please be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe, and the notification bell so that you never miss another video like this. First, let's discuss the new Step 3 eligibility requirements. So, in May 2020, the USMLE had allowed a temporary eligibility requirement. However, the new eligibility requirements are that for US, MD, or DO students, they must pass Step 1 and Step 2 CK, and they must have a MD or DO degree. If international medical graduates want to do the Step 3 exam, they must also pass Step 1 and Step 2 CK, and they must be ECFMG certified. And remember that ECFMG certification requires that you pass the OET exam and that you also have been accepted to one of the six pathways. Next, let's discuss more updates on the Step 2 CS. So USMLE has announced that all results will be reported despite Step 2 CS being discontinued. So if you have any attempts for Step 2 CS, they will be added to your USMLE transcript. The USMLE also announced that they will be adding a new statement to explain the circumstances surrounding the Step 2 CS to all new transcripts. And here is what the statement will say on your transcript. So this statement will be there whether or not you have any attempts. So it will be on everyone's USMLE transcript moving forward. USMLE will also be limiting the number of exam attempts from 6 attempts to 4 attempts on or after July 1st, 2021. So let's say that you did step 1 and you apply for your 5th attempt after July 1st. In this case, your application will be denied. So after July 1st, you have to pass your USMLE step exam in less than 4 attempts. USMLE explains that they made this change to more closely match the attempt limits imposed by state medical boards for a majority of states. So remember, once the change to the attempt limit policy is effective, examinees who have attempted a USMLE step four or more times and have not passed will be ineligible for other steps. So let's say that you did step one four times and you weren't successful in those four attempts. You can't then go on to do step one a fifth time or you can't apply to do Step 2 CK at that point either. Another key announcement is that on May 2020, the USMLE extended USMLE eligibility periods through to June 30th of this year, 2021. This allowed applicants to not pay the fee that is usually required to extend their eligibility periods. However, that previous date of June 30th, 2021 has been pushed up to April 1st, 2021. So if you require an extension past April 1st, 2021, you will have to pay a fee. If you are currently preparing for the Step 1 exam, or planning to start preparing, then you are aware of the practice exams, which were 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. However, the USMLE has announced that they will be retired on April 1st, 2021. However, if you purchase them before that date, 
the ones that you purchased will be available for 90 days. And remember that NBMEs 18 and 24 are often said to be the best NBMEs for the step one exam. And once those exams are retired, the USMLE will be introducing the new NBMEs, which are 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. As of recording this video, the cost for the NBMEs will not change. They will remain at the standard fee of $60 per NBME. And if you are in the process of preparing for Step 2 CK, Step 3, or for your shelf exams, this is an announcement that you definitely don't want to miss. So by the time that you are watching this video, the NBME has released explanations for the CMS forms for pediatrics, neurology, medicine, ob -GYN, surgery, and for form 5 of the step 3. Because remember that step 3 has two practice exams, so they have released explanations for one of them, which is form 5. And if you want to find out other upcoming NBME explanations that will be added this year, then you can watch this video right here. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe, and that notification bell.